In terms of the multi-year labor agreement, uh, we had a two-year agreement uh, starting in the previous year, 8.5% and 9% for this year. So for two years, we did not have to negotiate. Um, and we're quite happy with that, uh, although the settlement was a little bit higher than what we had hoped for, but it gives us certainty. We at least know what to work with, what we're working with. Um, and um, so we will try and negotiate another multi-year agreement. The Mocha situation there we had from uh, around the beginning of April uh, a few members that belong to NUMSA that were out on strike. Um, we uh, um, uh, have had quite a significant number of those that did go out uh, on strike uh, come back to work. NUMSA as well is not a recognized uh, union of, uh, of Transnet and, uh, and in fact the issues that uh, they were striking about uh, have been resolved largely uh, between uh, uh, management and, uh, and the recognized uh, uh, unions within, uh, uh, within Transnet. The main issue was around the use of uh, labor brokers <laughs> and uh, uh, we no longer uh, use labor brokers now at, uh, at, at uh, the Moha container terminal. The real tragedy about the Lumsa strike at uh, Moha is that uh, we had been talking through in the bargaining council with the recognized uh, unions about labor brokers at Moha. And by the time Numsa went on strike, we had agreed that labor brokers would be phased out by June. So it was quite a surprise for us for NUMSA to use that as a reason for going on strike. The, the effect of that is that NUMSA took out employees, permanent employees, as well as uh, casual workers that had come through the labor brokers on strike. And during the month of June, when the issue of the labor brokers was finally done away with and the casual workers were invited to apply for permanent jobs, the ones that were on strike with NUMSA were not considered. Secondly, NUMSA's tactic was to attack the houses of employees that were coming to work. Now, I know that NUMSA has denied this, uh, but 32 incidents of uh, petrol bombs, uh, petrol bombs being thrown at the houses and cars of our employees were reported. So we've had 32 incidents. We have a court order against NUMSA from to, to uh, court order to say they mustn't attack our property, the property of our employees, they must not intimidate, and so on and so forth. Now, since the court order, two members of NUMSA, who are also our employees, have been arrested <laughs> for possession, illegal possession of firearms, uh, intimidation, uh, as well as, uh, uh, as, well as uh, uh, contempt of court, because there was a court order that said they cannot be involved in those activities.